Hello there, I am Mr Westcombe and I'm the Director of Sixth Form here at CGS. Welcome to this part of the website, which is all about the admissions processes and joining us for Sixth Form. So, why join CGS for your A-levels? Possibly because we get outstanding results, because of our dedicated staff, because of our fantastic students, and also because of the wider curriculum and the commitment to developing the individual needs as well as the facilities that we have. One thing to bear in mind, obviously, are our entry requirements and more specifically the A-level course content. It's really important that students look at and check very, very carefully the content of each A-level of subject that they want to study. Looking specifically at the entry requirements as well as that course content. Researching that course of content carefully now is important because you're studying something in depth for two years. A-levels very different from GCSEs, so make sure you make the right decision. And I'll come to how you can try to make that decision later in the presentation. Look at the learning approaches that suit you. So that means the styles or the ways of learning that you've started to realise suit you best. Think about the different teaching styles that are involved in each of the subjects that you do at GCSE and how they will become harder, more in depth at A-level. Because the expectations for study at A-level are increased and there's a much more in-depth focus on independent learning. So, I always get this, asked this question quite frequently. And the main thing I would say is, what would you like to study? The course is the most important thing. If you're gonna be happy in that A-level, then you're most likely to be successful in it. So, will you enjoy the subject for two years? That goes back to looking very carefully at the course content. It's a two-year program and it's a linear assessment. So you're assessed on a broad depth of knowledge at the very end of the course. So you need to maintain that enjoyment and that enthusiasm and that interest. Now, you also might need to study particular A-level subjects. So you might have a particular career or course in mind. Therefore, where do you, you need to think future? Where do you want to go after you've done your A-levels? How, how are you gonna use your A-levels as a stepping stone to get to where you want to go? So that might inform your choices earlier on. So, research your options very, very carefully. Talk to people, talk to current A-level students, talk to your friends, talk to your teachers. Um, our careers leader is obviously available. Independent careers advice and guidance is always on offer, uh, as well as individual meetings rather than just group meetings. Look at universities, courses, and degree apprenticeship programs and do your research now as it will help to inform the pathway that you choose. Because to become a successful at A-level, there's an emphasis on independent learning to create study habits that are flexible and hopefully enjoyable, to gain access to top universities and degree apprenticeship courses. We have some really good facilities here at CGS with some outstanding teaching. There's a philosophy on independent study as well as respond, taking responsibility for your own learning and whilst we help to support and nurture all of our students and then hopefully you'll get excellent results and future prospects. But of course there's a wide range of other opportunities available to you too whether that be student leadership, the school council, mentoring, there's lots and lots of visits and trips, uh, there's the Outlook expedition every year, community events, DOV, Young Enterprise, you name it, we've probably got a club for it too. So, how are you going to make that decision about whether CGS is right for you and what A-levels you want to do? Think about which subjects you enjoy at the moment. Really, the enjoyment factor is probably going to really impact you on how successful you are. So, also think about what subjects you are good at. Why are you good at them? Do you get good results? If you get good results, is that because you put more effort and energy into them? So those questions you need to keep thinking about and whether or not you'll be able to continue that at A-level. As I said, the university or a course might help to inform your choice. Do you have a particular idea about what it is you want to go on to do? And therefore let that inform the decision that you want to make. For example, certain courses like medicine would require biology and chemistry. Uh, talk to a range of people who can help and if you need any advice or guidance, please do come and see me. 
So please do look at the website, the sixth form part of the website in a lot of detail. Speak to your teachers. There are a whole, whole host of A-levels done at CGS with a breadth of options available to you, some of which aren't done at GCSE. So do take care to make sure you look at the whole range of subjects. If you do not have a particular uh, course or pathway or degree apprenticeship in mind, then pick broadly. Think about the skill set that you are going to gain from doing those particular A-levels. And ultimately from me, read the sixth form prospectus and all the other information that you see on our site. If you have any questions, then do get in contact. Prepare thoroughly for your GCSE exams. Be available on results day in August so you can check the compulsory and specific entry requirements per subject. And our induction day takes place in July. So here at CGS, we are helping to prepare all of our students to become adaptive, creative and independent learners. We provide a traditional yet fun learning experience that supports students into becoming a creative individual. CGS Sixth Form is a place for students to develop and become prepared for their future lives, whatever it may hold. And I hope that you want to be a part of that journey. Thank you very much.